Watch this video now if you're looking how to configure your custom domain name in ClickFunnels using Cloudflare. Because you too want to hide or mask the ClickFunnels URL, right? Okay then, keep watching this video until the end, because the solution is coming up. Today I'm going to show you how to use your custom domain name using Cloudflare in ClickFunnels. So what you need to do first is open an account in Cloudflare, okay? As you can see, I already created my account. So you have to log in like I just did. And what you need to do first is put the domain name you own in the box you're seeing on my screen. You have to put it without the HTTPS or HTTP and without the www. Once you put it, you click the scan DNS records green button and you're going to watch a less than a minute video from Cloudflare. Please pay attention to it because it's very important. The Cloudflare system is scanning your setup. This will take about 60 seconds. During this time, we wanted to tell you a bit about how Cloudflare works. In the past, if you wanted your website to be faster, safer, or smarter, you needed to add hardware, install software, or change your code. If you think about it, that's also 1990s. Today, Cloudflare works at the network level by taking over your domain's DNS. This allows us to route your good visitors to the fast lane and any bad visitors to a dead end. To make sure there are no interruptions to your website or other services, we need to copy all your current DNS records before the switchover. On the next page, we've copied what we could find of your domain's DNS records. It's important we have everything, so look them over carefully and add any records we may have missed. The optimizer is finishing up. As soon as it appears, click the green button below. The next steps are easy and usually take less time than you've spent watching this video. It's also very important that you know that this procedure I'm, I'm telling you about is only for when you want to use your domain name exclusively with ClickFunnels. So if you already have a website or a blog in your um, domain name, you need to follow another procedure. This is not the one for you. Okay, so I'm going to assume you are going to use your domain name exclusively for ClickFunnels, okay? So after watching that one minute video from Cloudflare, click that green button to continue. As you can see, Cloudflare brought all the DNS records from your hosting account or domain name account. The next thing you need to do is delete the two records that are in red. One of them is a type A record and the other one is a type C name record. And you do it by clicking on the cross you see on the right hand side column. Once you do it, you need to create two new records. These two new records are going to be CNAME records. In the first one, you need to select the CNAME record, then put the add symbol, then type target.clickfunnels.com, and finally press the add record button. Now create the second record. Again, it's a CNAME record. You type www. Then again, you type target.clickfunnels.com. And again, finally, you click the Add Record button. What you need to do next is click on the gray cloud. Then click Continue. Choose a free plan. And then click the Continue button. What you need to do next is put the two name records you're watching in the screen. So you select the first one. Go to the domain name you, want, you are configuring in ClickFunnels. Unlock it, then click on the name servers part and change the name servers as I am showing you right now. There is no third name server, so make sure that that space is empty. After putting the two name servers, click the save name servers button. Again, make sure the third name server is not there. It has to be empty. Then click the continue button in Cloudflare and click the Recheck Name Service button to see if everything is going good. Now you, need to, now you need to make sure that the SSL setting is full and not flexible. Once you do it, you click the Page Rules button and you're going to create two rules. The first rule needs to have the www and at the end of, the, of your domain name, put forward slash then an asterisk. Next, 
click the forwarding button so you can turn it on. Right after that, you need to put your domain name again, but now just put it like I am showing you right now on my screen. You don't need to put the www and after the forward slash, you need to put the dollar sign and number one. Select permanent 301 in the forwarding type, then click the add rule button. You are done with Cloudflare. Now go to the ClickFunnels window, click on my account, and then click on settings. And once you are in the window you're watching right now, click on custom domain names located on the left hand side column. Next, click the add new domain button. And in the window that pops up, put your domain name like I'm showing you. Then select the root URL, which can be any page of your active funnels. Then select the 404 error page. And again, it can be any page of your active funnels. Now turn on the enable SSL or HTTPS for your domain. Right after that, click the green button that says create domain. As you can see, I am showing you how, how my new domain name already appears on my ClickFunnels account. Now what you need to do is click on settings once more and configure the next steps like I am showing you. Then choose the domain name you already configured in the previous steps. You scroll down all the you scroll all the way down and click the save and update settings button. Once you do it, you need to go into one of your funnels and click the gear icon like I am showing you right now. And you need to edit the page. Again, you choose the domain name. The path you can leave it like that or put something like welcome and finally click the update page button. Now click the preview button and see if it's working. As you can see, I've done it correctly because you can see my domain name and not click funnels dom domain name in the URL box. Finally, I'm going to show you how, to, you how you can change the path. In this case, I'm going to put welcome. I save it. and I hit pre the preview button, as you can see on my URL. Now I have the word welcome. One word of advice, make sure that every URL is different because if you, be, if you create another funnel and you also put welcome in the landing page, there's gonna be a conflict between those two funnels because you're, you're gonna be using the same domain name. So be careful when doing that, okay?